My name is Seth Friedman. I'm the founder and CEO of Intelligent Observation. It's a pleasure to spend about the next 20 or so minutes with you all talking about a unique hand hygiene compliance monitoring solution that's been developed in an effort to reduce healthcare acquired infections. As you may be able to gather from my accent, I am not from Birmingham. Uh, I live in Miami, uh, in Florida, in the US, which is where our company is headquartered and located. Uh, Intelligent Observation has been in business for uh, about six years now. We spent three years in a development phase working on the unique technology that's really at the center of this solution that we're gonna share with you here this morning. In the last few years, commercializing the solution in the US. We are collaborative partners for hand hygiene with what is rapidly approaching about 100 hospitals in the US that are using this particular solution to more effectively manage hand hygiene compliance. And some of them are seeing significant and dramatic reduction in infection rates because of this. Um, I'd like to start by actually taking you guys back or thinking, if you will, about 250 years ago, which in the UK uh, is not really a significant amount of time. You have castles here that are 1,000 years old. But where I come from 250 years ago, we didn't even have a country. That's the time period when the original correlation was made between washing and sanitizing your hands and seeing a reduction in infections. And if you think about what's taken place in healthcare over the last two and a half centuries as it relates to technology development, it's pretty amazing. We have Da Vinci robots, we have 3D and 4D scanning and radiology, we have mobile MRIs, but for some reason, the technology that you've all been given to manage hand hygiene compliance in your facilities is a, a pen. Uh, it's visual observation or direct observation. Someone standing in the hallway, sometimes it's maybe you, or it's a clinically trained, uh, low-resourced uh, healthcare professional visually observing the behavior of another staff member. And I don't need to spend a lot of time, I don't think with this audience, around all the issues that visual or direct observation present, whether it's the statistically insignificant amount of data that you collect doing visual observations, whether it's the Hawthorne effect and the behavioral aspect of people doing what they're supposed to when they know they're being watched, and when they're not being watched, they go back to their old, usually less compliant behavior. Um, but it does sort of pose this question of why is it that visual or direct observation is still the gold standard around the world for the infection prevention teams, healthcare facilities, to monitor hand hygiene when there's been technology for the last decade that's available to replace, replace the pen? And we think the answer is really threefold. And these are really the elements that we've built this particular solution we're sharing with you today around. The first is that the traditional technologies that have been used to monitor hand hygiene compliance in a healthcare setting weren't designed specifically to do that. They're technologies that have been used for other uh, aspects in a, in a hospital or a healthcare facility like tracking assets uh, or others, but they're not really accurate in monitoring hand hygiene in a healthcare setting, which as you all know is a very nuanced use case. Secondly, most of the solutions have been fairly complex, either to install or for other departments within a hospital to have to engage with, specifically IT departments, to provide support for. And lastly, and definitely universally, these have been expensive solutions, historically. We really feel like we've cracked the code with a unique technology called Near Field Magnetic Induction, or NFMI for short. And if you're not familiar with or you've never heard the term NFMI or near field magnetic induction, I guarantee everyone in this room is familiar with the most common use case, which is the automotive industry. It's the technology that allows you to have a key fob in your pocket or in your purse, sit down inside the car, push the start button and the car starts. But if you get out of the car, even if you are standing right next to the door with that key fob in your pocket or your purse, and someone else is sitting inside the car, when they press the button, nothing happens. 
at its core, NFMI technology is centimeter level proximity detection. And centimeter level proximity detection is what's been missing from monitoring hand hygiene electronically up to this point. As I mentioned, our company spent about three years developing this solution uh, before we implemented it. We are really proud of the development partners that have worked with us over the years and now our, our collaborative partners, our customers in the US. Um, some names you may recognize, well-known names like Johns Hopkins and uh, St. Jude Children's Research Center. This is the first time we've brought this solution to the UK. So if after this presentation you are interested in learning more or you would like to pilot or you would like to see what this technology might look like in your facility, please come find us. We're upstairs at booth 15. Uh, if you miss us here, you can definitely find us online. So let's talk a little bit about the technology first, and I promise I'm not gonna get too far into the weeds here, but why is this particular NFMI technology that I'm talking about different? What makes it unique in monitoring hand hygiene in a healthcare center? Besides being centimeter level accuracy as relates to proximity detection, NFMI transmits and receives signals that pass through liquids. Well, why is this important? Because we're gonna put a device on a human body, on a healthcare worker, and that little device is gonna send and receive signals over NFMI, just like your key fob does with your car when it's in your pocket or in your purse. But our bodies are more than 50 or 60% liquid. So if the signals that are being transmitted and received are absorbed by liquids, that creates an issue. If they pass through liquids like your body, that's fabulous for this particular use case. NFMI is also considered ultra low power, which means we provide a solution that's battery operated, but you don't have to worry about recharging batteries on a regular or frequent basis. And lastly, and I think what most of our customers would talk about in the US is that this is really cost effective as it relates to visual observation and the comparative data and benefit you get from it. So what are some of the benefits you get from using this system? One, we have the unique ability to monitor what we call the bed zone proxy, which is basically the ability to monitor a zone around a patient's bed that would include touching the patient before and after, it would include performing an aseptic event on a patient. It would include touching soiled linens on a bed where a patient is or where a patient has been. We provide a really granular, detailed level of hand hygiene compliance data, and I'll share it with you here in a minute or two. We're what we call agnostic. We work with any soap or sanitizer and with any type of dispenser that you may have. Unique to our solution is that we also provide hand washing information, hand washing good old fashioned soap and water at the sink. So does a healthcare worker put soap and water on their hands, rub their hands together for three and a half seconds and rinse it off, which is the average time that an American puts soap and water on their hands before they rinse it off? Or do they wash their hands for the 15 to 20 seconds the WHO says is required for a compliant hand washing event? We provide a unique point of patient care, real-time alert. This is the ability to actually use this system, not just to collect data, not just to know what is my true hand hygiene compliance rate, but to actually move non-compliant behavior to compliant behavior. We're a standalone system, which to you should simply mean it's very, very easy to engage with us. There is no support that's required from other functional areas in your facilities like IT. And lastly, again, we think we're the most affordable system out there. So let me walk you through how the system actually works. It's a combination of proprietary hardware, software, and some artificial intelligence that we built into the system. But it starts with this little device that I'm wearing. We call it a smart badge reel. This device, which is specific to an individual healthcare worker, interacts with primarily battery-operated sensors that are strategically placed around the hospital. So to monitor, for example, a bed zone, we'll place one at the head of the bed. We'll also place a sensor in proximity to your alcohol-based hand rub dispensers and to your soap and water at your sinks. The devices talk to each other. And quite simply, when a healthcare worker enters into that bed zone, of which we have the ability to change the size and shape of, the system says, has this person washed or sanitized their hands within a configurable period of time, within X seconds, say for example, within the last 20 seconds or 30 seconds. If they have, 
That's noted as a compliant event. And the same thing works when they leave that bed zone. They have a configurable period of time to wash or sanitize their hands, basically the after patient contact moment of hand hygiene. Every interaction between a healthcare worker and a patient 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, has a compliance determination made on it. And that information is pushed to the cloud. This is really the core of what we provide. While this is the unique way we do it, this is where we hope you see the benefit to using a system like this. We allow you to look at hand hygiene compliance for your entire hospital, by individual wards in the hospital, by roles that you define, for example, hand hygiene compliance for nurses versus physicians versus phlebotomists. We allow you to provide hand hygiene data down to the individual healthcare worker if you so desire. So if you wanna know that Dr. Jones rounded and saw eight patients last week and six times out of the eight, he never performed hand hygiene, we're gonna provide you that level of detail. We also provide a very robust infection tracing capability. So if you have a patient with neurovirus or with C. diff, where using alcohol-based hand rub is not the correct hand hygiene compliance standard, soap and water use is, through this system you can actually see which healthcare workers go in and out of a patient with C. diff's room and how are they performing hand hygiene and with what products are they performing hand hygiene. So a very granular way to say to a healthcare worker, hey, by the way, this is just a reminder, let's not use alcohol-based hand rub with a C. diff patient. We need to be using soap and water. We also link in hand hygiene to your staff. This is sort of a missing link with visual observation. We do it with what's on the left-hand side. It is an email scorecard or a report card for each healthcare worker in your facility. It's an opt-in for them, and if they opt in, once a month they get this email that explains to them, here's what your hand hygiene compliance was for the month of April. You had 1,287 opportunities and you were 90% compliant, that's fantastic. And then we provide some context around it. If you're a nurse, we also provide the compliance for the team of nurses, for example, so that you understand not just what your compliance is, but how that actually ranks against peers of yours as well. It also demystifies the data. Over and over we hear from staff, yeah, I always do what I'm supposed to, but I don't know if they saw me do it when they were standing in the hallway, or I don't know if they checked the yes box or the no box, but I always do what I'm supposed to. This allows healthcare workers to see the same hand hygiene compliance data on them that the infection prevention teams are seeing, that their unit leadership is seeing, or that the executive leadership at a hospital is seeing. A unique aspect to our solution is that we don't sell hardware to anyone. We provide this as a service. As I mentioned earlier, we're collaborative partners with 100 hospitals in the US. We provide a service. The service includes all of the equipment that you need to make this work. What we call a reasonably unlimited number of badge reels. That's basically everybody that you're gonna monitor hand hygiene with and use that data, you're provided a badge reel. It's a dedicated account management function. It's somebody that's in your facilities, usually every other week, working to make sure that staff knows about proper compliance standards in the facility and that they understand how the system works and they understand how the data works. It's working with the infection prevention team to make sure that if the data views aren't actionable for you, that we customize them so they are actionable to you. It's working with unit leaders, the frontline defense of hand hygiene, working with them to make sure we provide them customizable reports of the data on their unit so they can use that daily at huddles with their staff, and they can watch improvement and talk about improvement with their staff. It's lastly something we call an annual technology refresh, which is just a unique aspect to having a subscription model, which means that as the hardware and the software advances over time, it gets better, you automatically get upgraded to the latest and greatest software and hardware that we have available. 
And we do it under a very transparent pricing. Uh, I apologize for using US dollars. 475 US dollars is about 370 pounds per bed that's monitored per year. That's the price. There is no other price. Um, there's no other cost to you besides that. So we wanted to share the price with you as well so you have that information.